Okay, I just want to show how Lara Chain Part 2 is coming out. Uh, it's going to have a new name. Um, I learned a lot from Lara Chain 1. Um, basically, other than the fact that the name was confusing, I just, uh, a year later, I really learned uh, how to approach LLMs and using them different. What's really neat about this one will be uh, the different LLMs you can use and the agent aspects that will be coming up. So when I log in, I'm just using Jetstream. I'm just using uh, the team settings so you can create teams. And in those teams, you can have collections. And you can start a collection. We're going to call this one um, State of DevOps because I have two reports. Uh, you know, I'm going to now choose. So I could use Mock. Obviously, that's not worth it. But we could use OpenAI, Claude, um, Olama, soon Gemini. Uh, OpenAI Azure is pretty easy. Um, Olama works. I mean, that's running locally on my machine, so I get a lot of benefits there. It's not as fast as um, OpenAI when it comes to embedding, but that's because I haven't optimized for their embedding um, model yet, but we'll come back to that later. In this case, we'll use Claude. Um, actually, we'll use OpenAI, and then we'll switch to Claude. And then I'll use OpenAI for embedding because I can just put a ton of data in there quickly. So now that we made our collection, we can upload documents to it. Soon there'll be voice, um, audio files, CSV files, everything. And uh, other things too, like we can take it from webhooks, we can take it from emails, we can take it from web searches. In this case, I'm just going to upload two files I have. Because I'm working locally, I'm not going to do a ton of files. And um, so I'm going to open up, uh, upload these two. And so it's just going to chop it up into pages or document chunks. I'll show some of this in a moment. And then it will embed that data. So basically, um, while that's running, you could just see that, um, you know, we have our Vite running, of course. But then you have Re Reverb running uh, and then Horizon. So, you know, it's doing a lot. Um, but thanks to Laravel, it's all pretty darn easy. Um, and we're vectorizing using OpenAI, but we could have used Olama. Um, Claude has one too, but it's a third party, so I got to set that up. But yeah, I mean, it's all going to just keep using whatever services they let you. So um, little details though, like this complete, I have to double check, but sometimes it's still building up um, summaries and whatnot. So I have to go look and make sure. But again, these are the details I'm getting to. Uh, so let's just give that a moment to finish up. Oh, and of course, because it's Horizon, uh, you could just go check the queue. Uh, remember that. That's the... That's the thing. This is just Laravel. It's it's just a it's all the tools that a lot of us are used to. So here we have um, pending jobs. There's a whole bunch, and there's 94 jobs. Um, it should just be going as quick as it can. Honestly, like it's throwing what it can at OpenAI. Um, but a good example of like these are all just pages in this file, and then um, when you process them. Let's look at that now. So when you process them, what are we doing? We're basically saying here's a collection controller. Uh, let's throw a whole bunch of files up there. And so when we do, and again, all this stuff, file uploading can be different type of files, different sizes. It has to be optimized. This one is for PDFs, but again, doesn't have to be. Um, it's going to be more flexible. And it just processes the file job. And so at this point, uh, because it's a PDF, it breaks it up uh, into um, in a batch, so it breaks it up into uh, little uh, into pages, uh, and then when it's done, it just will mark it as done and do other things. And so this is a really amazing part with with um, with with Laravel. Uh, once we dig into this guy, it's using the ba batch to then uh, process it. So it's going to vectorize the data, summarize the data. I'm adding the tagging function. I might do that in the next video because I already built it. And I'm trying to make it modular so people can see how to build their own um, functions um, that we can even use later on as uh, LLM functions. We'll come back to that shortly. So now I've done this earlier, so let's just do this again. And then we'll switch over to Claude. Uh, and it's just saying, hey, I'm going to embed the question, and then I'm going to search our vectorized data. So let's see how we're doing here. Here we go. Uh, these documents are Friday Constant Analysis, and it just goes over both documents, seeing and comparing them. Uh, it, it does a pretty good job, actually. And it's a tricky query because it's not searching the documents, it's comparing them. And there's some code in there you'll see to say, you know, what type of question is this? Use the right function. I'll cover that later. If it's just a regular search, then let's just go to our default. 
And so what's going to happen is eventually it's going to be a question about a CSV file, um, but the collection could be many files, and it will say, hey, this is a CSV file. This is a question that needs like Panda, and then we start doing the the particular functions to um, in in Python code to uh, assess the data. So yeah, this is a good one. So if I go back and I just switch it over, so let's edit that guy. Uh, I'm going to change it to Claude. So now it's going to use Claude to answer the question. And um, nothing changed. Uh, we're going to leave open AI's embeddings because that shouldn't matter. Last I looked, because um, it's just searching. It's just they, it was used to make the embeddings. I hesitate because it's a new feature where um, the database is flexible enough to handle different embedding sizes. So let's ask the same question, but this time we're going to ask Claude. So look, it it has an answer, and Claude's answer is different. Um, um, all right, so that shows Claude and collections and OpenAI and how easy it is to do those things. Um, eventually, the other LMs will be there. The local one's really exciting. I think, um, yeah, I can switch to a llama. That will work for this. Let's try it. And then we'll ask the same question. And a llama doesn't have the function ability yet. I haven't worked on that. Um, it's not built in lang chain, not layer chain. They have it working, so I'm sure uh, it's something I can do. Um, but in the meantime, um, it would just do, I think, a basic search, if I remember right. So, you know, in time, agents will be part of this. Instead of zero shot integration, we'll do multi shot where you can have an agent just double check the numbers or double check the response. Um, you know, just continue to add on here. Scheduling, because Lyra has awesome scheduling, where we can, you know, um, send emails every morning with a summary of all the security alerts that came into your e email box. So here is uh, Olama taking a look at that, and um, you know it's it's they're all going to be different. It'd be interesting to see which ones uh, I feel are better, um, but yeah. So it's all three different ones, and again, Olama runs locally, so there's no more concerns about um, privacy, and it could have built the index. So right away we could have had Olama driven index uh, embedding. Sorry, embeddings and none of our data would have left our machine. Even this could have been running locally thanks to native PHP. So yeah, that is where um, Layer Chain Part 2 is heading. Um, I'll have more updates shortly. On